Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a new project and a different kind of project, and it's by Block Create. They're attempting to gamify the blockchain, and the way it works is you buy a block from their site that has specific qualities such as speed and strength and sturdiness, and it's assigned to a very specific blockchain. Now, the blockchains that are available right now is Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, Polkadot, and Solana. So you get this block, you plug it in, you set it up, and you use this block to compete for tokens, and the token is actually called block. You can go either as a solo or as a team. The blocks are randomly shipped out, so when you buy one, you don't know what you're gonna get, you're just gonna get something, and once you configure it, have it set up, you'll find out what it is. Let's take a quick overview of this project. It launched August, 2021. It's on the Algorand network. It has the ticker of blocks. The first batch of shipments happened on December 15th, 2021. They are staggered and they're coming out. Mine was part of the second batch and I just received it about a week ago. The unit cost is $249. You can swap for the block token on TinyMan and I'll link that in the description below. The team is available on different social platforms. They have a Twitter account, Discord, and Reddit. All those will be linked in the description below. Why don't we go ahead and open up one of the boxes right now. So here's my box. I ordered it on December 23rd, 2021. It just arrived about a week ago, so it did take about three months. I know they had a little bit of backlog, but let's just uh, pop this one open. And it comes with a little sticker here. And we'll just open it up. And this box is uh, wrapped up in some plastic, so we'll just cut it open right now. And we're going to peel it open and see what's inside here. So this is the official packaging for the block. And we'll open it up. I've already cut open the tab here. And let's see what's inside. So we have like a manual. This is in like a foil bag. And open it up and looks like, yeah, that's kind of like a guide for it. We have a USB type A to B cable here. Let's get it. We have another sticker here. And inside the box is the actual block. So it's wrapped up in plastic. And I'll just uh, open it up. And here is the block itself. And if you see at the bottom, you have a switch, I guess, an on-off switch, and the port for the USB-A, which we use to power the device. And that's it. That's my quick open box video. Let's just try to set it up now. So we're on the uh, Blocks Crate webpage, which is blockcrate.io. And I'm just going to go to the setup guide over here to get this up and running. So we have the, the link at the bottom for setup. And I'm going to be installing this on an Android device. So I'm going to be using the first option over here, which is Android. But there is a version for iOS if you'd like to use that. And let's go ahead and install that app on my phone. I have a Pixel 6. All right, there we go. So it's going to install it on my phone now. And I'll switch over to that device. Okay, so we first get a user agreement that comes up. I'm going to click on I agree. And I don't have an account yet, so I'm going to click on sign up. And I'm in Canada, and I'll just type in my email address here. Send me a verification code. All right, now it wants me to set a password, and that's always fun. So I just entered in my password. I'm going to click on done. It requires the following permission, which is fine with me. So leave it checked. Click on go to app. There we go. So got it. And now it's time to add our device. So I'm just going to turn on my device right now. And I'm going to wait for it to blink, in which it's blinking right now. And I'm going to add it. There we go. Okay. I'm assuming this circle is me. So I click on add. Okay, so now we have the password typed in here. Click on next. And it looks like it's going to try to connect. The light has stopped flashing now. I believe it's trying to update the software. Looks like it's done the update now. So I'm going to tap on the next button. And it looks like we successfully added it. So let me click on done. And it should take me back to the home page. And there it is. All right. So now I have a cube that I can change colors with it. And hopefully I can do something other than changing colors. Color schemes. I'm just going to leave it on working for now. How about that? All right. We'll leave it like that. Okay. So I'm back at the website. And I have my Algo wallet already set up at the myalgo.com. I just created a wallet and now for the setup, I'm just gonna click on Teams and it should bring me into the DAP. It looks like it wants me to install this Chrome plugin to sign into it. So I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna add it to my Chrome. We'll just install it, add extension. Okay, that's good. There we go. So we have the Chrome extension in here and I guess I'm gonna have to add my wallet in here. So let me just go ahead and add a wallet. All right, so let me just set my password in here. Click on create wallet. Here we go. And now my wallet is now imported. Sign in now. Let's see if it lets us. And we're going to grant access. So now we just got prompted to sign in. 
using the wallet. So I'm going to click on sign. I am signed into my app right now. So I'm going to click on this and I'll just enter in my password one more time. Click on continue and I guess it's going to import it now. Okay, so I signed into the DAP. Now I'm clicking on wallet and now it's saying block connect. So the next thing that we want to do now is connect our block by clicking on. So we have the wallet connected, which is great. And now we want to connect our block. So I'm going to click on this and it's going to ask me to sign in. It's asking me to sign in with the username that we had just created. Okay, so we have the email address in here and now the, we have to enter in our block number. Now the block number is actually underneath your device and it starts with a U. So I'm gonna go ahead and put mine in here. Great, and then click on, I have the United States Data Center. I'm just gonna select the one that's closest to me and then click on connect. And I'm still logged in to the app because that's what the instructions say. Let's do in something. Okay, so we have this transaction. Do you wanna approve it? I'm gonna approve two and three and then sign all the transactions. It wants my password again. There's my password. Transaction successful, so that's a good sign. Click on okay. It says I have a thousand blocks. I am, looks like I have dot. So I'm on the dot blockchain. It's set to unlimited. My block number is 125. The power is 100. The charge is strength. The price, I don't know what that means either. Okay, so just to show you, it actually turned a purple color. I don't know if it looks purple on the screen, but uh, it's kind of like a pinkish purple. It matches the dot color like it is on my screen, but my camera doesn't seem to be showing it the same way. But that is it being synced up. So that's cool. So the block turned the color of the chain. <laughs> okay, so that's it. We have our block set up or we are logged in. We have it connected. We have some algo in our wallet like it was recommended. Um, I don't think it's used any of it yet, but it's there just in case. Uh, it recommends that you only have to have five in your wallet. I have 55 for whatever reason. I just had that already. So that's there. And that is pretty much it. We're up and running. So that's how you do it. That's how you set up your block and get it set up and connected to the network. We're up and running. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. If you're looking for an update, I'll update in about a month and let you know what's going on with the status of my block. If you're looking for more setup videos, I have a lot more coming out related to mining and crypto. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.